Hey guys welcome to the show, today pro staffer Kelly Matthews will be showcasing some of his proven crappie catching techniques. Come along as we showcase some of the best crappie fishing products on the market from, Luz, Strike King, TTI Blakemore, Bullet Weights, Bets, and Tempress Marine Products. So get ready as we hit the water and go after some slab size crappie as we showcase Mr. Crappie products on some of the best lakes across the country. Hey crappie anglers, Kelly Matthews here with Wise Lake Guide Service. What we're going to be doing today is just a little bit of a revisit and probably a remake of a video project we done four years ago. What we're just doing is taking a brand new 132nd ounce do it jig head mold doing just a little bit of machine work to it and turning it into a 1 24th ounce head mold. Now, a lot of you may be asking why would we even need a 1 24th ounce head mold. Uh, well, here on Weiss Lake and a lot of lakes across the southeast, the number one tactic for going after big stringers of crappie is the long line trolling technique. Here we are in 2013 and still very few lure companies offering a 1 24th ounce head for retail. So this is where all of this comes into play, having our very own 124th ounce head mold. So let's take a quick look at the mold we're going to be working with today, the bit we're going to do the machining with. So let's break out the twos and let's get this project done. Alright guys, before we do the machining on the mold, uh, I just want to touch just a little bit on the correct size uh, for, the, for all your jig heads. Uh, where everybody's on the same page, uh, the correct size for the 132nd ounce jig head is 0.97 grams. And when we get done with our 124th ounce mold, the correct size is 1.28 grams on the 124th ounce. The correct size on the 116th ounce head is 1.94 grams. Uh, I think a lot of people that's real serious about the long line trolling needs to get out all of our jig heads, make sure they're dead on what we talked about. If they're not, you're going to be wondering one day why I'm catching fish, the next day I'm not catching fish, maybe using uh, different lure company jig heads, uh, they're going to be big differences in different lure companies jig heads. So uh, go ahead and get your ground scales out, double check all your jig heads, make sure they're weighing the same, because speed and jig head size is number one in the long line troll. All right, a little bit about the bit we're using is a quarter inch rounded router bit. You can get these at any uh, hardware store, three or four dollars. Uh, they work real good for machining this uh, aluminum. I'll give you a good close-up of it before we start machining. Uh, the mold we're working with today, like I said, it's just a regular do-it mold. It's the barbless head uh, uh, we're working with today. I think the one we done in the first video uh, was one with the barbs. Uh, this is the Pro uh, 101 series. Uh, it's a model number 1249. Um, like I said, on every cavity, we're going to work every cavity on each side with this quarter inch router bit to give us 1.28 gram jig heads which equals 1 24th of an ounce. Alright, let's get started. Okay guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started a little bit. I want to show you a pretty good close-up of the router bit before we get started. Uh, like I said, this is the quarter inch rounded router bit. Make sure you get rounded that way you get the profile of the rounded jig head. Uh, the, the mold we're working with, uh, it's a barbless 132nd ounce. And we're gonna just clean out every cavity on this side, every cavity on this side, uh, and that's gonna give us 1 24th of an ounce jig head. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and peel a paper off of this, and we'll get started on it. Um, this router bit, uh, it cuts real slow. It's pretty hard to make a mistake with it. Uh, like I said, we need to clear out every one of these jig head mode. We'll just start in this one closest to the hinge. Just clean it out a little bit. 
till we get down all the way down to the factory four in the head and when you get down to the factory mold in the head with this quarter inch rounded bit that's going to be dead on 1.28 grams uh, we're going to do them all on this side then all on this side you can see it don't take very long at all to do that i've got both of them cleaned out all the way down to the factory mold so I'm going to keep working here and uh, we'll get this knocked out and uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, pouring sample jig heads and all that, making sure everything is right when you get done with the project. So I'm going to finish up here. Okay guys, you seen how simple it was uh, taking the 132nd ounce mold. Uh, all we done was cleaned out every cavity on this side, every cavity on that side with a quarter inch rounded router bit. And I can guarantee you when you weigh them out, they gonna weigh 1.28 grams, which is 1 24th of an ounce. I get a lot of calls and emails about this video we made four years ago. A lot of the guys are scared to take a, a router bit to a brand new do it mold. But as you can see, that router bit's going to stop cutting once it reaches the factory depth of the 132nd ounce mold. So if you got any questions, give me an email at kelly at yslateguyservices.com and I'll shoot you an email on the, the bit, the model number I use, and any other information you need on the mold. So until then, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video, and we'll see you on the water soon.